This is Cesar. He's from Luxembourg. About 16 hours drive away from him lives his friend Lester. With the wonderful power of Zoom's immersive view, I managed to get them to sit together and tell you about the project that they have been developing. It's called Clean Something for Nothing, and with your help, it has the potential to become the next big thing. How many people cleaned here? Oh, wow. It is so nice to see how many groups and individuals do their best to keep their environment clean. Their actions function like the strings on this loom. They have a beautiful structure, but they are not connected. Yes, there are many people cleaning, but worldwide. You probably won't find many people doing cleanups in your, in your little town or village. Lester and Cesar wanted to connect everyone, so they created an app. So what we want with this app is to connect the people and create a community that help each other. So there were a lot of cleanups in February, for example. This way you see that you are not alone, that there are a lot of people doing it. It's, it makes you feel that um, your effort is, is not for nothing, it's, it's part of a bigger plan. I have a lot to clean until I come to this kind of... Another bag? Take this cleanup, for example. Oh, wow! 70 people. World Cleanup Day. And also, uh, it's a, we want to make it a bit like a game with levels and points and these kind of things. So you see, now I'm a goat because I've started. And you can see that I have one cleanup. We picked up five liters. I should have brought my daughters. You know what? I should have brought my daughter's school here. Honestly, I believe this app can uh, change many people's behavior. Um, they could f do it and see how they remove their, their carbon footprint, how they are making an impact, you know? Instead of just mm, pointing out at the problem, they just take action. Since the pandemic started, Cesar and Lester have been developing this app on their own. They are now on the beta stage of the development. And in order to get it out to the world for free, there is something they need. Users! <laughs> we need users. Many, many users that uh, give us nice feedback, uh, well or bad. Any feedback is very important uh, so we can learn and, and grow. Yes, I think it's important to say it's a, a beta version, beta version, so we, have, we, we still need a lot of work. And this is where you come in. I've left in the description a link to download the Clean Something for Nothing app. If you want to help these two humble good ones, please download the app and try it. We need it because this, this tool is for the people, it's for the community, it's not for ourselves or, you know, this is made for, for anybody. Uh, so we want to create the best tool ever for cleanup. If you want, create video clips of yourself cleaning up and using the app. Share your thoughts about your experience and send them to me here or on my Instagram page. From the clips you will send, I will create another episode about Clean Something for Nothing. In this episode, we will find out how much trash we all managed to collect. We will also catch up with Lester and Cesar, and they will tell us what they have learned from your feedback. Before I'll end this episode, I also wanted to tell you about the loom you saw in the beginning of it. This loom used to stand in the Haus der Materialisierung in Berlin. It is not there anymore. In the near future, I will tell you about this house and the astonishing work that is done there. If you don't want to miss it, click the bell button, so you will get an alert whenever I upload a new episode. Don't forget to press the like button and consider subscribing. With just two clicks, you can help this channel spread and reach a greater audience. I'd like to thank you for watching, and until we meet again, look for the good ones. <laughs>